In this video, I'll walk you through how blood type is determined. Your blood type is determined by the kinds of carbohydrate tags on the outside of your red blood cells. These tags are called antigens. The ABO gene encodes an enzyme responsible for building these antigens that sit on the membrane of the red blood cell. There are three common alleles of this ABO gene. The IA allele encodes an enzyme that builds type A antigens for the red blood cell. The IB allele encodes a slightly different enzyme that builds type B antigens for the red blood cell. And the little i allele does not produce a functional enzyme and therefore does not contribute to the antigens on the outside of the red blood cell. So let's look at how these three alleles result in four different blood types. It's important to remember that even though there are three different alleles for this ABO gene, a person's genome only has two copies of this gene and therefore a person's genotype can only have two alleles. The first blood type we'll look at is type A blood. This blood contains red blood cells with only type A antigens on their membranes. A person who is homozygous IA will only produce enzymes that build type A antigens, resulting in type A blood. A person who is heterozygous, containing one IA allele and one little i allele, will also only make type A antigens, produced by the enzyme associated with the IA allele. In this case, you can see that the little i is recessive to the IA allele, and both of these genotypes result in the same phenotype of type A blood. The same holds true for someone with type B blood. Type B blood contains red blood cells with only type B antigens on their membranes. A person who is homozygous IB will only produce type B antigens and will therefore have type B blood. A person who is heterozygous, containing one IB allele and one little i allele, will produce the enzyme that makes type B antigens from the IB allele. Both of these genotypes results in the phenotype of type B blood. And once again, given that the IB allele masks the little i allele in the phenotype, we know that the IB allele is dominant to little i. Now let's shift our attention to type AB blood. This phenotype results from just one genotype, the heterozygote IAIB. The IA allele instructs the production of the enzyme that makes the type A antigen, and the IB allele instructs the production of the enzyme that makes the type B antigen. So the red blood cells of someone with the IAIB genotype produce type A and type B antigens, both displayed on the outside of the cell, creating type AB blood. These two alleles are considered to be co-dominant because they both show up separately in the phenotype. And finally, let's look at type O blood. The red blood cells of this person do not have type A or type B antigens. The only allele combination that leads to this phenotype is homozygous little i. Because the little i allele produces a truncated non-functional enzyme, the red blood cells of this person do not produce or display type A or type B antigens. So, if we create a series of dominants here, we see that IA and IB are co-dominant, and they are both dominant to little i. These three alleles lead to four possible blood type phenotypes, A, B, AB, and O. In this way, the ABO gene gives you a solid example of both multiple alleles and co-dominance. And those are the basics of how your ABO blood type is determined. If you'd like to do some practice problems to test your knowledge, see my video on blood type genetics practice problems.